Right, we're going to do a video, as promised, to show you how to remove the front panels on your Smart 450. We've got it in the workshop, we've got it jacked up. You don't need to do that, you can do it with... Right, now, the main bits that hold this on, there's a few bits. Uh, there we go, Gary's taking them out already on one side. Well, look, you carry on with those, Gary, I'll show them on the other side. So, there's some bolts on the door shut, which are your first ones to take off. And they're like so, they're sort of self-tapping. Oh, is it going to focus? Right. So when you open the door, I've painted them silver to make the video even better, because that's the sort of guy I am. So you can see you've got one there, one there, one there, one there. So there's four of those. You've got four on that side, Gary. And they all look the same, do they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all look the same. Let's have a look. Yep, yeah, so you've got four of those, and, and they're, they're, they're nice, because they, they don't lose the washers. They're anti-loss washers. You can't, you can't sort of get rid of those. So yeah, whoop those off there. So we're, why are we taking the front off, Gary? We're, oh, I've lost one of the screws, Gary. Um, why are we taking the front off? Because we're going to bleed the brakes. But you don't need to worry about that. Um, you need to do. You need to take the front off to feel the brake reservoir up to do lots of stuff. You can't actually. There is a little. There is a little screw in here, and you can get in here and undo and do something. Um, I can't remember what, but not a lot. So most of the time we work on it, we've worked out it's just taking the front off. I am now waffling. Right, the next things we've got to do is we've got to disconnect the side repeater. We've got to pull the wing out, but the aerial is also a pig. So we'll have a look at the aerial and then we've got to do the grill. So let me just catch up with Gary and I'll come back and join. Right, we've got to remove this panel and there's a little screw... In one of that little fix in there, it's a bit dark. Well, there's a little screw just here. All right, and we get that screw out there. Let's have a look at the fitting, Gary. So it's one of those two-piece plastic rivets. So you've got to get the screw out, and then once you've got it out so far, you can pull that whole fitting out, and then you should be able to press all that that out. How's that clipped on, Gary? It's not really. It's just clipped on on the on the windscreen pillar there. There's a couple of clips. So you can prize that out and that. And what are all, all, all the bolts you've done so far, Gary? Are Torx T25s, right? Yeah. So let me just have a look at that as well when that gets out. Now, I think these fittings are different to the others because I think these are a threaded rather than a self-tapper fitting. Yeah, so that's a different fitting to the four that go down. Because see, that's got a proper thread on it, not a self-tapping thread. So they're different. Right, we've got to do the one on the other side. Right. That's that, well done. Right then. Now the other side gets a little more confusing. Because you've got the... We're missing the screw. Please. We're missing the screw. Or we could pretend we've taken it out earlier. So that, this is what you've got to prise it out that channel. But you sort of got to fight the aerial. So you're going to have to sort of slide it up a bit, I reckon, Gary. See, we ain't perfect. Gary actually hadn't done this before. Ah, twist it. We had a little twist action there. Right, rest all that off. And then you've got another one. Got another one there. Look, whoa. I'll do it. Right, and that one holds the radio one. He's a bit bigger, is he? We'll have to get the... So we'll have that bolt out there, which will be the same as one on the other side. And then, annoyingly, they've got a bigger bolt for the aerial, have they? Yeah, he looks like. We a, do we need to remove? Yeah, we do. We do, because otherwise you end up having to take the whole bumper off over the yeah. top. And I, I don't think on this one I could unscrew it. I did have a, a try. Um, no, we'll have a go now. A lot of people that while while Gary's going to get there, it's got a little spiral on the outside. Now, do you know why that spiral is there, Gary? No. No, it's not a wire going up. It stops it going like that it stops it wobbling side to side there's okay. a special effect and i will look up on the computer now the english it was an english guy that noticed it and they use it on suspension bridges and stuff to stop the things doing it's quite a fascinating like a phenomenon so that's the t30 so that's the short bolt hold on there you go there it is so that's the short bolt you can see i've got two one the long one is for the thing and the short ones for the aerial the wing right so so that should sort of rest or loose it. And we can, we can thread that out as we go now, can't we, Gary? But we've got to do the clips on the front next. And then remember when we take it off, Gary, we've got to disconnect those, those side repeaters. Uh, I don't know if it's easier to take those out. or I think it's easier just to wrestle them as you're going. 
There is a connector in there you can take off, Gary, actually. Oh, oh you know, he's wriggled it out. Yeah. And then you can un you can unscrew that connector there. There you go. That's, that's that taken off. Right, there we go. That's that out of the way. Right, let's get... Now, this front grille is hideous. The clip's breaking, and it's a real fiddly, fiddly thing. So let me see if I can... I mean, ours is only basically held in. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off, and then I'm going to show you what you should do to get it off. But you've got to, like, look in here, and there's some bits. Um, but let me, let me remind myself, and let's have a look. So what you got is you, as you look in, you've got to get a torch and, and there's a little bit in, you've got to press this down and that will release that one. We'll have a look at it and get it out. Right, let's look along, Gary, where the other... Can we see where there's another one? Let's have a look. I think there's one in the middle there. Right, there's one in the middle there. We've got to try and... We've got to... Oh, there it is, yeah. Right, so, so you've got to get it in the middle there. You've got to go get... That's it. So we can start to see what we're looking so he's trying to find this little ramp here and push that down so these two little pegs stand down right, let's have another go yeah you got to really you got to work it out haven't you oh there you go yeah so let's sort of now let's have a look so i think so let's have a look so you've got one two three along the top um there might be some broken off and it yeah, now I think these are, I think there's one, two, three, four along the bottom. So you can see they're snapped off. But yeah, that's, but that's the same. So you need to get in on that little ramp there and push that down. And that lowers those two clips. It's a hideous system. Um, not impressed. Right. And then let's have a look what we've got to do now. Now I'm not, I need to remind myself if those are part of it. Now I've sprayed them silver, so I'm going to say they are. Right. So we've got one. So I'll, I've got nothing here, I might be missing one there, but let's have a... Ooh. And I think there's a couple underneath. Let's have a look what they... So they're self-tappers again, they look like the, the door bolts, don't they? Okay. Right, three. Okay, right now I seem to recall there was a couple, a couple underneath as well. Uh, oh no, it's these clips I think. You got a couple of clips under here. Can you see that, Gary? Yeah. There's a couple of slots there, and literally you just pull the bottom of the bumper down. Right, and I reckon. Right, let's let's go on that side, and we've got to release the wires now. So if we just pull this this wing out, we may have to open the door a bit. Right, now careful now, because what you've got, if you look here behind, is you've got this wire, it might be a bit dark. I'm going to twist that bulb holder, and that bulb holder comes out there. Have you got that, Gary? Yep. Yeah. Right, let's do that on the other side. Next time I'm going to rest that, because when I get the other side off, it's all going to like tumble out. Can you do the honours on the door again for me, Gary? Right. A bit weird, isn't it? You've got to... Wait. All right. And we might be able to see a bit better this side. Yeah, Gary's got the torch on it. You just twist that off. There we go. Right. Now my bumper's falling apart a bit, but we should. Be able to remove the front, and that is the front bumper removed from the smart car. Now we've got to find our brake fluid reservoir. But we'll leave you there. Good luck with that.